Former White House Chief Strategy Steve Bannon is speaking out about one of the President Trump's most controversial decisions in office last night on 60 Minutes. We spoke to Bannon in his first extensive interview since he left the White House. In part of the interview you have not seen, Bannon explained why he was against the firing of former FBI Director James Comey. It has been reported that Jared Kushner was in favor of firing James Comey. Is that correct? I have, you guys have to, they'll have to find that out either through the media or through the investigation. I don't know. Uh, it is also true, many say, and you're a smart guy, that if James Comey had not been fired, we would not have the Mueller investigation. True? I don't think you, there's any, I don't yourself. think, I don't think there's any doubt that if James Comey had not been fired, we would not have a special counsel. Yes. So we would not have the Mueller investigation. We would not have the Mueller investigation. We would not have the Mueller investigation in the breadth that clearly uh, Mr. Mueller is going. Do you believe? Because I think it's a very directional. I think directionally is a very different. Do you believe Mr. Mueller should be fired? No, I do not. Has there been discussions in the White House about firing him? Uh, I would not tell you about discussions in the White House, but I would tell you I, nothing I ever heard like that. Someone said to me that you described the firing of James Comey. You're a student of history as the biggest mistake in political history. That would be sure. probably, that would probably be too bombastic even for me, but maybe modern political history. So, the firing of James Comey was the biggest mistake in modern political history. I, if you're saying that that's associated with me, then I'll, I'll leave it at that. More from the interview tonight on my PBS program, um, Irma, gives no. a rare view of Can Sarasota Can we just Bay. say something yeah, about yeah, that yeah. interview yeah. before yeah. you go on? Because he was so, I thought, so candid. He was, the way he talked about Mitch McConnell, the way he talked about Paul Ryan, Gary Cohen. Um, Declared war on them. He really did, Charlie. I'm wondering what the working relationship is going to be in the White House after that. And I thought it gave us insight as to how the White House works and how much access I still feel, it seems, that he still has to Donald Trump. I think he does. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I yeah. think that there's a bad relationship between Donald Trump and him. Now, why he left, he said he would plan to leave. Others have reported that he was fired. Was it in, as He said he planned to leave, and he chose the date, and he told the chief of staff that. Yeah, he made it clear he wasn't pushed out. But at one point, did you see it, Nora? It got so intense. When you were talking about Charlottesville, he was clenching his jaw so hard that it started pulsating. Mm -hmm. Do you remember that? Did you yeah, see it? Yeah, I did see it that. It was yeah. very, very graphic. I was wondering what was yeah. going on in that moment, because you two had such great back and forth give and take. Mm -hmm. uh, I, d I think he was just trying to answer the questions yeah. or not answer them. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. one, one or the other. Uh, he's, um, I mean, he's a very interesting guy, whatever you think of him mm -hmm. uh, and what he said. He's a very interesting guy, and, and uh, we had a chance to ask a lot of the questions that I wanted to ask and of he, him. And he answered and, them, too. And as we have said, this but is the only ten television interview he, of, of any length that he's ever that done. He's ever done. Ever done. Well, Beyonce has a song where she says, bow down, and it's her way of saying, all hail the queen. I think many people, I'm getting calls about the interview. People congratulating me. I go, I had nothing to do with it. People are saying, all hail the king. That was an amazing interview. Thank you. Thank you. First well said. and only one of its kind. Well said. Thanks, Nora. That's a good way to put it. Mm -hmm. I think so. <laughs>